In this video, we'll look at how to create and use your own page templates. With templates, not only can your team create new pages faster, they can make them personalized too. So let's get started. To create and edit templates, you'll need to have admin access in Quiller. And if you're looking for templates to use with our CRM integrations, we have separate videos for that. Let's start by checking out Quiller's library of ready-made templates. I'll click the Create New button on the dashboard and choose From Template. That puts us in the template library. I'll use the side menu to browse through the different template samples. When I find one that I want to use, I'll click the Create Page button. Now I have a new page that's copied from the template. I'll change its title and start making edits. But let's transform this page into a template. You can add your own templates to the library at any time. Here's a new sales proposal that I created. I want to make that into a template that my whole team can use. So I'll click the Create Template button. And now it's a template. If I look back at my dashboard, I can see that it's no longer visible there. That's because it moved into my template library. But let's add some personalizations. Now I want to add some personalization points to my template. Since I'm already in the template library, I'll click the Edit button to get started. Remember the Create Template button that I used earlier to make this template? It now changed into a Tokens button, and that's what I'll use to set up my personalizations. For this proposal, I want my team to be able to add the name of the company and the first name a person they're presenting to. When I click the Tokens button, I can see that all of these things are covered in the default set of tokens, but I also want to add a closing date for this proposal. For that, I'll create a new token. I'll type the label I want, then click Add. And that's all there is to it. You can create as many custom tokens as you need. Next, I'll add the tokens to my template. There are several ways to do this. I can copy the token and use my keyboard command to paste it into the page, or I can drag and drop tokens. An even easier way is to head to the spot where I want to insert a token and type two curly brackets. That brings up the list of tokens right here, and I can choose the one I want to insert. Great, so now all my tokens are in place. Let's see how they work. I'll head back to my template library, open this template, and start creating a new page. And now I'll see a form with a field for each one of my tokens. My team member will just need to enter in the buyer's details, add that expiration date, and that completes the personalization. But what if I want to turn this template back into a page? You can also take templates out of your library. For example, here's a template that someone on my team created by accident. I want to turn it back into a regular Quiller page. I'll open up the template for editing, and that gives me access to the Remove from Templates option. Clicking that will turn the template into a page and move it back to my dashboard. Lastly, let's talk about template permissions. Sometimes you'll have a template that you only want certain team members to use. Let's open this template for editing again so we can set some user permissions. I'll click the Collaborate icon, then I'll choose the users who can access this template. Keep in mind that anyone who's a Quiller admin will always be able to access it. And that's everything you need to know to start using Quiller templates. If you have any questions or suggestions, be sure to reach out to us at help at quiller.com or via the help button in your account.